Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I wanted to talk about how to make things pick upable in virtual reality in a game. Okay. So, and I'll kind of explain more what I mean in a second, but just to kind of get us rocking and rolling, I'm going to go here to games as opposed to film or any of these other ones. And I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And here I'm going to choose virtual reality. All right. So um, you'll see why I'm picking this. Um, when I get into the pick upable function and what I mean by pick upable and by the way I'm just gonna let it go to where it is and I'm just gonna leave all this alone and hit create project and as it's loading what do I mean well in virtual reality we have a headset on and we also have some joysticks um, in our hands and if you want to go and interact with things in the game like let's say you're making a bowling game and you want to pick up a bowling ball or if you just want to pick up an object um, it has to be able to respond to the joysticks. And, and that's something that I'm gonna show how to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it load here. Okay, so I paused that. It took actually a couple minutes. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to load. But if this is up here, I'm just gonna click on this back arrow right here and get me to here. And what I want is this uh, virtual reality blueprint. And now if I click on that, I'm gonna go to um, maps and then I can choose here. Now this motion controller map. And that's gonna bring me to, to this section here. And really what I wanted to show was um, if I had a virtual reality headset connected to this, I could go up here and then click on VR preview. So if you're doing that, you need to have, um, let's say if you have the Oculus Quest, you need a physical cable linking the Quest to the computer and that way it should recognize it and you should be able to click on this VR preview and then you're instantly in this world, okay? Being able to navigate around. And you could either physically walk over here to these objects or you could teleport using the joystick. But then if I click on the cube, and once again, if I was in virtual reality, um, I would be able to just grab this with my controller and then I could throw it around and it would have physics and dynamics and all this cool stuff. Um, and how do we do that to our own objects? Okay, so for example, um, you know, if I brought something in here, um, if I wanted to just bring something in, how would I apply that? Because not everything is, I'm gonna say, pick upable. And here's the trick, okay? So in the world outliner, I can see that these cubes have um, this thing called edit BP pickup cube okay and if I click on that um, it's gonna open up the editor and the editor has all this kind of complex stuff that it built or that somebody built to make this work so for example um, when something is picked up um, it's going to simulate physics it's going to do kind of all of this um, you know all of this cool stuff here and really make that work and I can see that it's um, all of this stuff is kind of written in. And then when you drop it off, okay, it's going to simulate physics and it's going to detach from the, um, the joystick. So this is kind of like all the visual programming, if you will, that is, um, that's done. So you'd have to kind of build this on your own if you weren't in the virtual reality blueprint. Okay, so, well, yeah, what good is that? Okay, well, if we go to, um, you know, if I brought in my own objects, or if I just like, uh, let's say here, if I come over here, um, this cube, I can see that this cube is not pick upable. Okay, so if I went over here, and if I, in virtual reality, stuck out my hand, and then I push the trigger button, I would not be able to pick up this cube because it's not told to be pick upable. Um, and same with any object that we drop in our scene. But if I want it to be pick upable, what I would do is I could select this and down here, um, let's see, I'm just gonna kind of scroll down here. Well, let's see, it's, it's so it's still compiling the shaders here. Um, and I would just kind of look through these things here and uh, uh, game mode override, let me see. Um, okay, and what I'm noticing is I'm in the world settings here, okay? I wanna go over to the details tab 
and every object that you bring in is going to have uh, the details tab as well and I'm just going to scroll down here and if I go all the way down here um, I can see convert actor and the type here it is BP pickup cube and when I do that um, and if I click on this I can see here that the cube is now uh, the edit pickup cube so that means that if I walked up into this in virtual reality I could click on the trigger and now I could pick it up okay but if I want it to fall down um, like I could pick it up I may have to select this like simulate physics and now I feel like and you can see that in gravity is enabled so if I didn't have this I could just probably I could pick it up and then I could just like let go of it and it would float but if I have simulate physics and gravity is turned on then it would actually fall so uh, you can see that also here collisions um, I would want to check that as well so really uh, kind of a simple thing if you know this trick and now if I imported any of my objects into the scene I would just select them and then over here uh, make sure that I set this to edit pickup cube by scrolling down and uh, converting the correct actor to um, yeah so to uh, BP pickup cube and now you can see it's not a choice because it's saying um, it already is BP pickup cube so you can see my texture just loaded but um, you know hopefully that made some sense and if you wanted to test it out once again if you had a physical VR set connected to the computer you should be able to go here that should be um, available if it's not um, what I would recommend doing is restarting um, Unreal after maybe your headset's plugged into the computer. It seems like sometimes it's a little finicky, but I feel like if you do it a couple times, um, hopefully that should be available. And then once again, instantly transport in there. And I feel like it's a really cool experience. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if it was, you know, leave some notes in the comments below and also make sure to subscribe to stay updated on cool more tips and tricks. All right, guys. Have a great one. Thank you.